Damn, they delayed my phone. They just had a girl that, um, she not only had her phone, her arm hanging out the window, they delayed my phone. She not only, and see they're turning around. She, um, they delayed my phone and she, she had her, her whole, damn, they going way over there. So, um, they didn't have their, um, the girl had her whole upper body hanging out the window with her, with her cell phone and she looked like she was underage. And they delayed my phone when I was trying to put them on film. You know, you got your kids gang stalking. But, um, there they go. And, um, they're narcissist gang stalkers. They're narcissistic enough to treat me like as if my life does not matter. That some more gang stalkers. And I'm forbidden or not allowed. I mean, I'm the only target individual who get treated like this. And y'all popular and well-liked. And then talk about can't nobody be more targeted than y'all. How are you the most hated target and you'll go around perping people? That, that, that ain't freaking go. So they're turning back around. A whole gang stalking family. They riding back around. That's not a girl. I think they used the underage girl to take a picture or a video of me. Now she, she hiding now. That man looks Masonic. So they say it's supposed to do more raining tonight. And they say severe weather. And they say another hurricane is supposed to be probably brewing this brewing up this week. So people don't care about leaving me to suffer in a hurricane. <clears throat> People's hearts are cold, and then they just keep riding around. I see y'all gang stalkers. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Y'all know what y'all doing. With a Tennessee license plate. So, yeah. If y'all falsely accuse me of getting paid handsome money, why the hell am I forced out here then? Y'all can't answer that. But y'all, y'all try to falsely accuse me of choosing to be out on the streets for sympathy or and the perp's been saying that for a long time to, to um, escape accountability for their gang stalking activities. Or then they think I want to live. I mean, they falsely accused me of being, choosing to be homeless for sympathy. And then turn around and falsely accuse me of wanting to live in luxury hotels and drive luxury cars and stuff. You know, luxury brand new cars. Well, I just wanted to experience, a, you know, a once in a lifetime thing for me, just to see what it was like to um, 
drive a luxury car, but I didn't want to own a luxury car, but I just want, and I finally, after 38 years of my life, got that opportunity for once, but some of y'all bastards actually have owned luxury cars and owned multiple cars, but, you know, but it's like, they just want me to look the worst. And many professed targeted individuals, you know, they show their perp true colors after they try to act like narcissistic and controlling. And then you stand up to them and then they think that they act like a perp as a way to punish you. So this week, all the way until August 3rd, or approximately August 3rd, as far as I know, I'm going to have to panhandle for food. I mean, panhandle for money for food and bus fare and transportation and hygiene and whatever else. And probably hotel, definitely, I'll say definitely hotel and stuff. I'm going to have to panhandle both online and in person trying to ask for help. Um, up until August 3rd. And I mean, I don't even know if I'll get that job, but the, this job that for the interview t for tomorrow, I'm not sure if I, if that job is a good fit for me or if it's suitable for me. And I'm traumatized by doggone coworkers. So, um, it really seems like it's just so many people who are just so fake and deceptive. Ooh, I love this color purple. It's my favorite. Perfect color. Well, almost perfect. But I love it. I love plum purple. And I love the color of the inside of a purple, purple plum also. I like the purple plum, not the red plum. Idiot. Yeah, so, um, it's not right how people trying to play God with my life. They try to play God with my life. And if God hated me enough, I think I would be dead by now. Or or he probably wouldn't have create he you know created me. And there's so many people trying to um play gladiator and knock me off the face of this earth. Yeah. So there's very few people who care, but most people are evil and fake. Most people, almost everybody, except a few, few small people, is evil and fake. And you point the demon in everybody else except yourself. See, I could tell this looked like a gang stalker that's waiting for me. Let's see. But usually when they on their, when I put them on film, they act like they be on their best behavior. It's cold out here tonight after the rain. Earlier, before the rain, I felt kind of hot and stuffy. It is cold right now, and all I have is a thin, um, thin sheet. Oh, that's the, um, that's the perps right there. They wanted to try to play innocent. Yeah, if y'all weren't innocent, I mean, you use your underage child to, 
to use her cell phone to delay my phone from filming y'all asses. At first, I thought that was an adult, but then I looked closer and realized it was a child. Well, more like preteen, she looked like. Oh, wow. What he sitting here for? Oh, he looks like he's on his phone. But yeah, I mean, I, I see other people would be like, they have a car, their car break down, and then they put up a GoFundMe for a car, and they get help with the new car. But me, I, um, they be like, oh, well, you gotta work first, or you gotta get a job first. Well, they keep workplace mobbing me off the job. But I wrote a couple more short blog posts today on my blog. You know, I haven't written on a blog in a little while, a few days. My head ain't together enough to write another short story. Um, And I can't think of any ideas at the moment. Well, I have a few ideas, but not really. So it's supposed to do more raining and people don't even care about how I suffer. But you know, with my disability, it also makes things harder. That um, if I would have had, I mean, I could have more independent jobs. I could have more independent jobs. Oh, I love this color too. I can have more independent jobs if I can, um, you know, if I had a car, or, you know, if anybody could have helped me with, to get a car, and they had a few people who offered to make, and they make false promises, and then wait till the last minute to bail out on me and stuff. Narcissistic abusers, they, they're fake and they do that. Okay, so they I don't know why they all sitting in their cars. I mistakenly thought that they were going to pull off once I walked by. If they ain't perfect, then I apologize. Sorry for the stupid music. That ain't my fault. Oh, the driver of that Corvette was filming me, had his phone aimed at me, recording me.
See, that looked like a perp right there. Once I cross the street, you come close. That type of big truck right there is the type of truck that narcissistic gang stalkers would drive. You ain't gonna be a safe Christian and drive something like that. I don't even come and sit at this park no more because I end up getting way worse harassment. I don't even bother to sit over here no more. And I figured that that truck was waiting, that put, truck that was pulling out, I figured they were waiting for me. Yep. They got they left the restaurant around the same time I walked nearby. Arm hanging out the window. And y'all wanna forcefully order me to shut up. Once they passed by me that they they took their arm away from the window. <sighs> yeah, so I have, look, they're pulling out. I have tried whatever I could to get out my situation. And what's this noise, idiots? But I'm not one of those homeless people that want to stay homeless. It's not comfortable. Hello. It's not comfortable being on the streets. It is not comfortable being on the streets. And I hate this, you know, not getting to be stable. And I'm, I mean, I'm not one of those type of people who want to be in this predicament. I've been fighting for a few years to try to get out of it. And each time I try, the gang stalker sabotage. Whether it be workplace mobbing or online perps getting me banned from places or, um, I mean, other people have a right to make money off their um, short stories or whatever. And it's considered work and it's considered a side hustle or considered alternative, you know, but it's like they just want to look for ways to hinder me. <clears throat> I mean, I cannot be that bad of a writer if I was complimented on one of my short stories yesterday. So, um, you know, for, for a random stranger, you know, it warms my heart. If they say that one of my short stories that I wrote was heartwarming and made them smile, <clears throat> you know, I try. I never said I was an expert but or or perfect or anything but it's wrong for y'all to try to stop and hinder me from trying to survive and make a living because just admit that you want me dead but you're not going to admit that because y'all going to lie and say that candy want candy doesn't want to live well i thought y'all falsely accused me of wanting to live in luxury make up your minds So, um, yeah, it's hard out here. It's really hard. 
trying to fight to a battle. To, I mean, survival shouldn't have to be a battle or a fight. And it's like they bully and harass you and find ways to sabotage you. And then um, <clears throat> look how loud. That's a narcissistic gang stalker. That, that's a narcissistic gang stalker. The truck is so loud you can't e the truck is so loud you can't even hear me talk. <clears throat> the the truck is so loud you can't even hear me and shut up. Who the hell is that screaming over there? The the truck is so loud you can't even hear me talk. Gang stalker, strange headlights. Oh, and temporary license plate. But y'all entitled to traffic me and make money off of me, but I'm not entitled to just try to live like a normal human being. I mean, I'm not even allowed to ask for help. I'm not, I mean, I'm not allowed to control or run my YouTube the way I want to run it. And people who, who I have blocked, they think they have more control, and then they laugh. I cannot believe that they have 90-year-old bullies. You know, somebody 40 years old, older than me, and immature enough to make a fake account talking about some Candy, candy Grand Prix drinks to abscess. That ain't no, that's nothing to laugh about. And look. So, um, so I've been having a lot I needed to vent about, and, you know, it's crazy that you want to try to police what I should talk about on my channel, when if you don't like it, why don't you leave? But no, you want to continue stalking and following and harassing and think you own me like I'm your pet. So, wow, in the middle of the night, I didn't hear that thumping sound. Wow. See? Um, this spot is robbed. Because look what other homeless person came through here. I don't even know who that was. Who, what other homeless person came through here? But see, they, they, see even other homeless, they gang stalking and freaking watching me. Who the fuck came here? and put, put their freaking luggage over there. If I didn't start coming on this side, you wouldn't have came over here. And then you do it while it's freaking raining. See, I mean, I can't have anything for myself. It's like other homeless people, gang, demonic gang stalkers, they want to freaking um, just infiltrate illegally infiltrate and freaking hijack i mean if i didn't start sleeping over here you wouldn't have put your nasty ass dirty shit over here now i can't be comfortable now i can't be comfortable who i don't know whose stuff that is but i'm gonna find out Yeah, I mean, so many freaking just evil games being played with my life. You know, I just came here for the first time, slept over here last night. And I'm and it's freaking tainted and ruined already. Already. I'm not sharing my spot with, or, or spot by myself with other homeless. And they'd be the first ones to stab me with a knife or steal my stuff. I can't get no freaking freedom of privacy. And then people want to run me off from everywhere I try to go to be comfortable.